Let's have another look at an example involving Green's theorem. We want to evaluate this line integral where c is the boundary of the semi-annular region d in the upper half plane between a circle of radius 1 and a circle of radius 2. So we have our circle of radius 1, we get a circle of radius 2, and we're interested in the region that's trapped between these two circles. So in terms of a curve that goes around the boundary, which is positively oriented, it's going to look like this. Basically it's going to consist of these four pieces, a couple of semicircles and a couple of line segments. So that's our curve C. And so we are interested in the integral of y squared dx plus 3xy dy. But by Green's theorem, we can convert this to an integral over the region. So we will integrate instead over the domain D. So there's our domain D of dq dx minus dp dy dA. And we'll need to collect together a few things. So first of all, we'll note that well, y squared, that's our p function. 3xy, that's our q function. What else do we need to know? Well, we need to know what dq dx minus dp dy is. So dq dx is 3y minus dp dy is 2y dA. So in other words, we are integrating over the region D of y dA. So there's our double integral we want to compute. Now what is our region D? Well, it's trapped between these two circles, but that can be nicely described in polar coordinates. So if we think about using polar coordinates, this would be the region where r is trapped between 1 and 2. I didn't label these on there, but that's radius 1 and then radius 2. And theta is trapped between 0 and pi. So we can best describe this in terms of polar coordinates. And so let's do it. Theta goes from 0 to pi. r goes from 1 to 2. We've got y, which is r sine theta dA becomes r dr d theta, so r dr d theta. And so this nicely separates because we can split off our theta integral as the integral from 0 to pi of sine theta d theta. And then we can split off the r integral, 1 to 2 of r squared dr. So nice separable integral, antiderivative of sine is negative cosine theta, that's from 0 to pi. And the other one is 1 third r cubed from 1 to 2. And so this becomes negative cos of pi is 1, and then we've got a minus, minus cos of 0. So that's basically 1 plus 1, or 2. And then we've got times 1 third 2 cubed, which is 8 minus 1, which becomes 14 thirds. And so there's our final result. The value of the line integral we got by converting to an area integral and then using polar coordinates because it was more convenient. All right, that's it for this example. We've got one more example to do, and we'll see you in the next video.